Hello, my name is Eamon Kelly and I'm going to take you through the A-Level IT9626-2017 October paper in the graphics section, which is question one, and we will be using Adobe Illustrator. Um, we'll be creating a logo, something like what you see on the screen here, of a guitar with um, rock ICT um, text on it. Now, again, I won't read through these skills that we'll cover, but this is also suitable for anybody maybe with 20, 30 hours experience of using Adobe Illustrator. And again, at the bottom, I recommend some recommendations for students exam who are going to sit the exam that they would have either, uh, well, that they would first of all, that they would um, highlight, use a highlighter or a pencil to highlight the paper, the important points like I just put here in the PDF, and maybe also to have a notepad as well open where they can um, add notes here, or if they want to add text, they can copy and paste in, or simply just have a piece of blank paper where they can take notes. Okay, so. Um, Let's get started. Okay, here we go into Adobe Illustrator. This is your this is likely to be your first screen here. I'm going to go to this print option here. I could have chosen web or a uh, different option. I'm going to print here and I'm going to go to the A4. And over the right hand side, we see that we've got our dimensions here. I'm going to click on rest and pixels. So I'm going to this here, it's 200 pixels. I'm going to copy and paste this here, control C, and paste it in here, control V, and create. Now, I'm going to go back and look at the exam paper while that's open. It can take a little bit of time. And I've also got, no, I don't have the name typed in here, but the name is, I've typed is R O C K I C T um, center number and candidate number. Okay. Control C. Back in here, and I'm, straight away I'm going to save this file here because it's a good idea with Adobe Illustrator, particularly if you're using um, a computer that's, that has got a Core i3 or a Core i5. Very, very difficult to, to uh, work with Adobe Illustrator or animate with a Core i5 I or a Core i3. I Ideally, you need a Core i5 or a Core, core i7. So I'm just going to save, save this here. I'm going to go into my. Okay, I've already, as you see here, I've already created my exam folder. So I'm going to go in here. And as you see, I've already worked on this here, but this time I'm going to put in the correct name from the very beginning. On save. I'm going to click OK. Again, work very quickly on this here. Bring this to the center of the screen. Okay, next. Guitar shape. So it's. So looking at this here, good to do some calculations before beforehand. So I suppose these circles here, there's going to be two different circles. I can I can drag this one out a little bit and then the head of the guitar. So I'll put this about 60, 60, and a smaller circle maybe of about 20, and then this here. Okay. Black color with a red outline. Okay. So I am going to go over to the circle straight away. So I need to, on the left-hand side, I'm clicking on this here. And I'm going to go over to the right and six. I want to have my fill from the very beginning. We said it was black. I'm going to go to the stroke. It's going to be red. Okay. Because I want to create three objects, now at least I have the property set for those already. And now I'm going to click on my screen. I could Again, I could drag. I'm just going to click on my screen. And I said I was going to make these circles roughly... 60. I can change this afterwards if I, if I need to. Control C. Control V. Good. Control C. I'm going to actually just duplicate this here and then I can. Good. And then I am going to go over to Rectangle Tool. In the rectangle, I'm going to maybe make this. I'm going to create this myself. I think it might be easier. Okay, next. Going over to the selection tool, going to move this into place. I'm going to just set this up a little bit first of all.
this circle, I'm going to make this larger. And I'm going to thicken this one. Maybe bring this again a little. And this here. Now I'm going to select all. And over on the right hand side, I'm going to join these together here. So I need to go to the properties on the right hand side and pass and see how does this look. Okay, this looks quite good. If I want to make this a little bit smaller, I can do so up at the top. Okay. Next, I am going to go to, I need to make a small white circle here. So I'm going to go over again here. Click on this here. Now, what I clicked on the ellipse, and I'm going to go over and get the fill. It's going to be white. The white is going to remain for the strings as well as so white. And there is no stroke here, so I'm going to click on this here and no stroke. So I'm going to create a small little circle here. Hmm. Let's create this. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe 15. I need to make this a little larger. Again, on the right hand side, I could go over to, over to the right hand side to make this larger if I want to, or just do it. Just okay, so I've got to move this into place, and I think that's okay. Okay, click on the selection tool. Now I need to create a line tool. I'm going to go back and just look at the image again. It's about 60, 60, 120, 140. I'll try 140 first of all. So click on the line tool. Hmm. For, um, Kind of straighten this a little. Okay, I need to make this larger. Let's click off the screen a second to see how does that look. Okay, click on this again. I'm going to put the stroke on this here. And white, okay. Okay, that is quite good. Okay, so I'm going to click on that again. Control C, Control V. I'm using the arrow keys to move it into place. And again, I'm going to Control V and move it into place. Okay, I'm going to select all, and I'm going to group these together. Next, I need to is to do is add the text. So rock ICT. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's going to be white rock ICT. So I'm going to use over on the left hand side the pen tool. Click on this here. Control. Try that again. Mm. 
and click again. Okay, I'm going to go over to the curvature tool. This is one I like to use for working with this here. Okay, there's a fill. I need to go over to the left hand side, the right hand side, and remove the fill. Also, don't need any stroke for this here. So, click on the stroke. No stroke. I'm going to go to the left hand side, move this into place. So, working with back with the curvature tool. Again, I can work with this again shortly. Okay, back over to the text tool. Now I'm going to click on the text tool. And I need to put in here rock ICT. And we're not given any, any dimensions. Okay, so rock ICT. And it should, I'm clicking over in the properties. And this should be white. Okay, and clicking on the selection tool. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Um, I didn't expect it to work so easily. Okay, so selecting all again, Control A. I'm going to group everything together. And again, if I want to just, as in the in the exam paper, it's, okay, I'm just going to move this around slightly. So I'm going to move this over here. Okay, again, I can, at the very end, I can put on this here. Just be careful. Okay, and I'm happy with that. The last thing I'm asked to do is to save it as a tr with a transparent layer. So I'm going to go to the file. Now we already have the file name. I should go and save it first. We'll save and then file. We need to go to export, export as. I'm going to the October papers, to my folder here. And as you see already, I've already saved it as Rock ICT guitar in this case, but this is what I actually need, Rock ICT can, uh, center, center number and candidate number and export. And okay. Okay, again, if you want to just uh, pause your screen and look through the other recommendations. And thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped.